Um, uh, mm, can I get back to you on this one, please? Greetings one and all, this is Rhythm Words and welcome to my channel with some the Division Beta PS4 gameplay action style li 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 li. A portion of a game that I waited and many others has waited almost three years or nearly three years to play. After seeing the E3 reveal of the game, I was intrigued, I was hooked wanting to get to know this game a whole lot better. Now, here we are, and I'm playing it as well as many other people are playing it. What's my take on it? Well, you know, as a game type, if you like, it just reminds me of a contemporary version of Destiny with friendly fire and consequences. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, what do I think of the game? Honestly speaking, I really do think that The Division is a good co-op game. If you play with a group of friends that knows each other's style of playing, I know it goes for any co-op, and I know it's a sh no shit Sherlock alert, but if you play with your friends and you know how your friends basically play, it's a good game. If you're playing with randoms, Especially if they're not mic'd up, of course you're not gonna know shit. It goes for every co-op game, you know. But a co-op game is as good as basically the people that you're playing with. It's no different with any other game. And it, it's the same with The Division. But um, I do think it's a good co-op game. But when you go into the dark zone, um, one of the factors that I really am feeling is actually the standoff factor. It's the factor of when you are rolling around with your brethren's them or your sister's them and you're getting rid of the AIs or whatever you want to call them and then you buck up another group from somewhere else. And straight away there's that standoff. And um, you implement your emotes to let people know that you come in peace. But even when you do that, they're still not to be trusted because they don't know how much loot you've got. Or at least I hope they don't. But they're thinking, well, I wonder if he's got loot worth taking. And in the dark zone, the loot are more valuable than the loot in the box standard um, co-op missions on the other side, as it were, in that orange zone. But um, there's always that mistrust there. And I've had it from both sides in terms of people working with me and people working against me. And it's a decent mix, but then you have people that just have no fucking clue Morning. and just shoot you for the sake of it, realizing, okay, area. this dude hasn't got anything <laughs> and move on, you know. But um, it was getting on late in the day at that point because I think everybody covered all of the missions that needed to be covered. So the Dark Zone was more or less the place to go. And um, yeah, it proved to be very interesting, to say the least. Um, the Dark Zone is gonna cause a split and it's gonna cause a divide amongst people. Um, the game itself is gonna cause a divide in terms of people who basically play first person shooters as opposed to third person shooters and I think that's that's my honest um, organic reason for playing Grand Theft Auto 5 a lot of late um, more or less getting prepared for the division now having played the division and also well having played beta of this game and also Uncharted which you know you have to say are two of the most anticipated games of this quarter of the year. I have to say the gunplay in Uncharted is is better, in my opinion. Um, the the mechanics, the gunplay mechanics are are more better 
from my standpoint it might not be to anybody's or everybody else's taste but to me i i really do feel the uncharted mechanics um overall i like the game i won't be getting the season pass um i learned my lesson from star wars battlefront but because i don't play a lot i repeat it is not a bad game i still think star wars battlefront is a great pick up and play game and with the dlc that's gonna come you know i'll get back to it i guess same way how i got back to grand theft auto 5 a game i thought i'd never play again in a hurry but you know these games last as long as you want them to last i guess and with the division right now i don't know i just i think it's the wait it's 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 the almost three year wait of having to get your hands on the game and you know feeling it for yourself as to how the game plays kind of weighs heavy on me i mean i've played the beta now for 13 hours you know with toilet breaks and <laughs> and meal breaks intermittently included but i have to say it's it's not a shabby game it's way more of an improvement to Watch Dogs, let me tell you that. But I can see people either loving it, liking it and getting bored of it, or just not feeling it. You know, and that's with any game right now in the marketplace. You know, it's very hard to kind of introduce a game to the people and, you know, and not have so much blurb on it and just have people buy it because now people are mistrustful of of no information about a game rather than have a lot of information i guess i think it kind of works both ways to be honest with you you know it's a it's it's a balance that's not yet determined in all honesty because people say they hate call of duty and they buy the game same way do you know what i mean speaking of which um you'll be pleased to know that as of today, I have placed an order for, believe it or not, Call of Duty Blobs 3. Yes, Call of Duty Blobs 3. I couldn't resist the offer. It was going for £20 in Amazon. £20. Which I think is freaking good value for money. As opposed to it costing 45 and 50 pound and the game has been out for three months now and i think the, the dlc is about to come out as well so you know Confirm. i don't know if i'll be Road getting that no longer active. at the moment but who knows at this point but the division made me get cod block street because that's how it feels to me at the minute i didn't think i'd actually be uttering the word Call of Duty Block 3 from my lips in terms of me playing the game. Never thought that for a second, but it has happened. You know, so anything is possible. And that is more or less it. I don't really have much more to add to the division. You know what is coming out. Um, let me know what you think of the beta if you've played it. Um, what are your pros? What are your cons? Are you holding back? Whatever, just let me know what you're feeling or not feeling about the Division Beta thus far. And it's with that I'm going to bid you guys adieu for now. And as always, you know the cool, whatever the game, console, media, format, genre. Happy gaming because that's what it's truly about, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And until I catch you on the next one, please stay blessed. Magan.